Agreed. So, Stephen, do you want to? Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, well, I have uh, a lot of criticisms of the design, but I'm not going to go into that now. I have been attacked on next door by many people, um, unfairly, been called a liar. There's all kinds of nasty, nasty stuff, and I don't have the ability to respond. And that's kind of part of the issue is that we really need to vet these designs. Now, we started off a year and a half ago, there was uh, a community conversation and a promise to take the comments and to develop proposals that we could look at. Well, that never happened. Instead, um, we, uh, you guys hired an architect, didn't identify him. It turns out it was Bill. I don't really actually have a problem with Bill, um, you know, being hired as an architect. But uh, we were presented with one plan and one plan only. Um, and it wasn't any of the four plans previously discussed. We're talking about something that basically doubled the, the previous uh, four options. And as this process unfolded, I, I take issue with the way it's characterized as an open public process because it really wasn't. We had, um, we, we were told various things at various points of this uh, uh, process that, oh, there'll be a public process, there'll be a public process. Well, we're still waiting for the public process. Um, and so, uh, since that never happened, we decided to take matters in our own hands. Uh, we had asked for story polls, uh, outlines, plot outlines, and no, it's not that difficult to do. It's chalk that you use. And um, finally, once we got that out there, people begin to understand what, was, what this building was going to appear like. And, uh, and still, I get comments from the architect online, from what I understand, that I, I deceive the public. When meanwhile, no, none of the facts, the facts, which we could all agree on, were ever presented to the public in a fair forum. So I think we should all be able to agree with dimensions. That should be uh, something that all of us could understand. And we could have a, a process of, uh, of understanding the size of this project. You guys have to come forward and you have to pr provide that to, you know, legitimize a, a process of, of honest dialogue about the mer relative merits of this project. The other thing is, I have not heard a single thing about budgets, and that is just absolutely crazy. If you buy a house, you buy a car, you, you have an idea how much you want to spend. Well, you guys are avoiding that topic, and that is five alarm, uh, that's a five alarm concern for the public. You can't, I, tonight, you, you're not ready for approval tonight. And I did hear what Eric said. He wants to move the process on. And I understand we've educated ourselves. You guys want a design review exemption that will completely shut us out from this, this uh, process. Jim is right. You have the power to push us through. You have the power to say yes tonight. But what you don't have is the public's confidence. And if you push this through, there's going to be pushback. All we're asking for is an open process. Let's look at several designs. Now, I understand I don't blame Bill for defending his design. But I do want uh, alternate designs, and I want a fair exchange of, uh, uh, between the public and the designers so we understand what we're talking about. And guess what? We have to also know how much it's going to cost. Now, in my mind, what you guys are building is a corporation yard, and we don't have a uh, public works department. We have a landscaping crew. It's way too big. We love our park. That's what we pay our taxes for. And that's what needs to be preserved here. Um, I believe it was Irv Schwartz. I don't 
actually no. Someone came up with option three uh, last year. Well, it was and and it really to me in my mind that is the 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 winner of of the various uh, footprint <laughs> options. It it uh, doesn't block the path. It provides adequate storage. It's efficient, and it just needs to look nice. And that's actually the job of an architect. So I don't <laughs> really buy this. We've got to do it this way. We've got a problem dimensionally, even with the improvements um, that Bill has put into this. You've got way too deep a space. It's awkward uh, given the uh, given the limitations. Basically, parking in there is on a daily basis is going to be like parking in a crowded uh, uh, a crowded garage or a crowded uh, what do they call it? Uh, yeah, just basically a packed garage like you, you find down in San Francisco. So that's going to take another half hour or more every day out of the workman's uh, uh, time to park vehicles and move around vehicles. Um, so here are the six questions we need to, uh, we, need, we, we, it, we haven't actually come to, to, to the, the most essential criteria of vetting. What are the range of possible designs? We only have one. What design most efficiently needs, meets the needs of the workers and the public? Well, you've talked to the workers, and you've talked to a few members of the public, and you talk to people on next door, but you haven't talked to all the people. And this is such a big project, it's going to last decades. It's also going to take a big chunk of land out of the park we need to make sure the outreach reach is respectful of all, all, the, all the players. Which design respects the core function of a recreational park? Someone brought up the point that, hey, you know, the North Creek school kids, they, they run past this, this area. Do you know that this is going to be a problem? I hadn't thought of that. Which design is the most environmentally preferable? Now. Option three is, I will tell you, because option three is the furthest away from the creek. Um, and how much does it cost? Uh, and how, how will it be paid for? Now, you guys seem to be ready to approve a plan, and Eric seems to be ready to jump in his car to go down to the, the uh, county uh, department to talk to a planner to see if you guys can get a design review exemption. That's not how it's supposed to work. Let's do what's best for the community. We have an opportunity for the future here. We, can, we have a chance to create a new positive era, era for Marin, where we've got a lot of young families. Our average incomes are going up. We're in a valley of million dollar homes. Let's do it right. Let's do our best to work together.